welcome back to the garage guys so today's uh, after party it's a five rounder we've got six jefferson curls we have eight single arm high poles each arm and then we have 10 lateral lunges each leg okay so you you don't need anything more than a single dumbbell kettlebell or object that is easy to hold with a single arm okay uh, so jefferson curl you guys know it you love it it's, uh, it's great for the hamstrings and low back, really good at decompressing the spine as well. It's not how you would pull a max weight, okay, let's be clear, because it, it's not, that doesn't serve that purpose, okay? So what we're going to think about when we do a Jefferson curl is we're going to curl one segment of our spine starting at the top at a time as we go down. We're going to keep those knees locked. And we're going to go down as far as we can. It's like a weighted stretch, okay? You can get up on a box or something like that. Some of you guys, most of you guys will need that. And then we just curl up, okay? So we're going to do six reps of that. I'll show it one more time, starting with the chin, curling down one segment of the spine at a time, okay? and you're in no rush to do this. This is not for time, by the way, anyway. Then, next one, eight high pulls. That was the Jefferson curl, okay? High pulls, this is my nemesis. So make sure you're keeping this as close to the center of the body as possible, and that you're really thinking about pulling that shoulder up and back, engaging that shoulder blade, okay? It'll, it'll come down as the object comes up, okay? Want to get away from um, rotating, in, uh, letting the shoulder come forward like that, which is what will happen if I let this thing come too high. If I keep on pulling up and up and up, it'll either pull away from the center of my body. It's already kind of doing that. Let me show on my right side. Or it'll start to rotate in, okay? So we really want to make sure that we're staying nice and close to the center of the body and then we're keeping that elbow as high as we can get it, but not at, the, um, not at the expense of the shoulder rotating forward or not being able to engage that shoulder blade, okay? So eight of those each side, and then last one, let me make sure I have enough room here, is our lateral lunge. So you can, if you have lots of space, we can do the traveling variety. I'll show that really quickly. So you're gonna be here, you're gonna step out, Stay nice and level, and then come up, okay? Then you would just continue in that fashion, coming down, and then coming up. One thing you don't need to do, you don't need to touch this to the ground. I just did, but you don't need to, okay? You can hold it like so, and that'll make the range of motion. If you're in a confined space, then we're just going to step out and back. Out and back. From side view, it's very much a hinge just like so, and then back. So that's, you can do it two ways. Just like with lunges, regular lunges, you can do it in place or you can go traveling up and down the floor, okay? So that's the deal for today, five rounds. Have fun with it, guys. See you soon, out.